So I through travel through airports a lot. I've gone through, well, STL, St. Louis, Los Angeles, at least LAX, Las Vegas, LAS, San Jose, SJC, Denver, is it DNV? I thought it was the Denver airport. And those are the main ones I can think of right now. At least when I'm going from San Jose, uh, SJC to STL, or vice versa, the other way around, I usually have to connect to one of those three um, airports. I find that I really hate LAS, Los Angeles. It really sucks. It really does. It smells like feet and old food. This one, SJC, San Jose, is really nice. I like that they have USB connectors and they even have this little thing for like Air Canada or whatever. Air Canada does not, not, has not, it doesn't have anybody here right now so I can be here. And they have power plugs and to tons of cool stuff. And out there they have USB charging plugs inside of the seats which is pretty cool. Denver it has to be one of my favorite ones just because it's so big and they have the escalators I guess you could say they're basically horizontal conveyor belts that you just walk onto and they move you around it's really hard to get from gate to gate in Denver because it's a runway far and, but to be honest I like it a lot better than like the cramped style of like LAS or something like that even STL STL is very simple it has like a long um, like a long building kind of like SJC. SJC and STL both have very long buildings which is everything's in a single line and I like that setup it's very simple like SJC very nice STL eh, it's okay STL could be a little better I would say having USB charging plugs would be a, a good like a boon if that's the right term to the experience but whatever I'm not actually sure what LAS looks like, but it seems all really fucked up, like all weird stuff. Oh, San Diego, that's another one. San Diego, I think that's the one where I had to go outside of security and then go through another thing of security just for gate one, or whatever it was. It was just like one or two gates that were off in their little room. It, you, had like, you had to walk through security back into like the open area go down this long hallway, go through another security, and then have to wait in this little area with like one or two shops and, and for your plane. But it's like, why couldn't, why do you have to have another security here? Why can't you just have a, why? Why do I have to go through security twice on my way home? Anyway. And so that's kind of, I'm not a fan of that one. I think, I think San Diego is more like like um so uh, more like a, let's call that one a tree to where like has like like a tree coming out I'm not really sure if I remember correctly Denver which I haven't done Denver since 2014 but Denver really huge kind of just like a huge complex it's amazing and then of course after I went to Denver I was like oh wait that's the one that has all those conspiracy theories about it awesome. And it just kind of makes it cooler, you know? But, yeah. Denver is really nice. I really like Denver. I've heard that the Chicago, oh, at least one of the Chicago airports is really nice, too. I don't know. Well, I've never been through SFO. And I'm one to just keep doing things over and over again as long as they're working, unless I don't see, if I don't see a way to improve it. But,. It just occurred to me all this time I've been, I have never had a direct flight from California, from Silicon Valley, California, to St. Louis in Illinois. And it just occurred to me, it's because I'm going through San Jose, SJC, it's a nice airport, but if I don't go through here, there's also San Francisco airport, and it's not really that far, it's not up in San Francisco, it's like, it's like, 40 miles from home. It's not It's not all the way like 80 miles or wherever up to up there. And so it's like, oh wait, I've been forgetting about SFO this entire time. I went and Googled Southwest Airlines 
flights on from SFO to STL and SFO to STL has at least one flight a day that is just direct and it's like well that would save me about three or four hours which I would have thought of that earlier oh well so I think I might, I might try SFO sometime that will add a little bit of a commute but now it's the question of should I Uber all the way there and back or should I take a train and back because if we're going with a train well the train system really sucks out here it really really sucks taking a train just that 40 miles might take longer than just flying SJC to SDL because that would add because uh, it just adds so much time well my battery's out I'm gonna go hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching see ya